Oh, that is perfect. Oh. <laughs> so it'd be soft. It was rolling down the drive. Well, hello, welcome back to another video. Um, excuse some banging that might be going on next door. We've got some uh, building work going on at the house next door, but we've got a number of projects that we need to sort out. Um, little fiddly bits today that we're doing. Um, we have actually got a new mirror sent through. So we're gonna try and get that installed on the truck today. That's obviously the back of it, so nice black mirror to go on. We're going to try and spray the other mirror as well today. That needs to be sprayed black. Um, what else have we got to do today? Oh yes, we've got Nick coming this morning to um, fit our bracket section on to the exhaust box system so it keeps that more secure. Well, obviously you've seen that in the last few videos, it's been bouncing around the straight pipe, so we want to get that more firm there so it's not moving all over the place so we've got to try and get a bolt off uh, that he's going to attach to as well with the frame with that bracket um what else are we going to do today we'll try and get the uh, number plate lights fitted as well uh, that's another job we need to do so we'll try and do as much as we can and we'll get cram all that into this little video here for you let's get to it right so first we've got to do is try and remove this mirror out the way Oh, the cables are still attached. Let's get rid of those. There we go. So that's that out the way. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna do it. Yeah, that'll fit nice. Yeah. Oh, that's going to look good. Right, so we know it's going to fit. I thought it was because it's the same as the uh, the other side. So what we'll do now is we'll uh, we'll clean that up the uh, mirror pole and give that a bit of a paint. We've got these attachments that go on the drill and they're quite good. And they're basically just sand all off what you need to. Right, um, seems to be a bit of corrosion and rush down here. So I've got some um, some of this anti-rust stuff that I'm going to use. I'm just going to test it on this, but it's mainly for some of the bodywork on the truck. But I'm actually going to put some on this pole just to make sure we get rid of all this, this rust and it doesn't come back. It's just a little patch here at the bottom between where the mirror would sit and the bottom mirror. So we'll put a bit on there. And then rub that down and give it a give it a paint. Uh, so this stuff, I'm not, I'm not affili affiliated with this or anything. It's not a sponsor, but I'm getting this. I'm trying this Genolite um, rust converter, and it just says convert rust to ready to paint surface. So we thought we'd give it a go, see what it's like. Give it a bit of a shake up, and uh, pour a bit in there and. Paint it on, see how we get on. Actually looks a bit like milkshake, but I won't try it. Because <laughs> this this video could end rather abruptly and I could have we could hear sirens. So let's just paint it on the mirror arm, let's not drink it. Hopefully that won't take long to dry because it's pretty much, well it is in the sun, so 
Yeah, I've got way too much in the jar. Uh, we'll put that back in the bottle. <laughs> right, so while we're waiting for that to dry, uh, I thought we'd concentrate on this bolt here. We need to try and get that bolt off because we're going to attach that strap. Uh, when Nick comes, he's going to weld this end and we're going to attach it onto the bolt there so it gives it that rigidity. Is that the word? Rigidity? So the I mean, it's pretty firm as it is, but it's just a bit of a wobble there I want to take care of, as you can see it moving around there. So I'm hoping that strap to there to there will stop that moving around a little bit. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not expecting miracles. I don't think it's going to get rid of it all, but it'll make it more rigid. Rigid? Rigid. Anyway, I'll stop waffling, get on with it. Again, not affiliated links, but I'm going to try and use a bit of, see if I can get in there with some stuff as much as I can, try and give it a soak. I was in there the other day trying to see if I could get on that bolt, but yeah, it's not budging. Let's give it another go today. Okay, the bolt's loose, but it's just turning now, so I've got to get a spanner. <laughs> right, let's try and get under here and see if we can get on this bolt, because it's tucked away quite in an awkward area. If I can get the ring span right, I should be able to... Uh, where, are you? where are you? Ah, there we go, look at that. Perfect. One bolt removed. Lovely. No wonder it was. No wonder it's so tough to get off. It was all corroded. But it's off. Now what we're going to do is attach that. Attach that plate that's going to come down to this nut and bolt when uh, Nick arrives. So that's another job ticked off. So another job I've been meaning to do is this. Um, this bit of rust on the inside of the door um, which eventually will penetrate the outside um, so I'm going to try and take care of this now and get some of that ru rust uh, converter stuff we put on the mirror um, and try and get ahead of it so uh, we'll get the, give this old uh, sanding wheel on it and uh, give it a paint of that stuff see if we can help it Tell you what, these sanding discs are really good. Right, we'll just get rid of Oh here's Nick. So I'll quickly brush this on and then Nick will be here ready to do that bracket for us. Let's just quickly whack this on. get a coat of it on there that's it right there we go right that's that one so we'll just leave that to dry now and um, get this bracket on with Nick you'll be sped up like so you'll be doing jazz hands anyway be silly bits get uh, edited out <laughs> those are the best bits <laughs> Right. right, so while Nick's just carrying on with that, I'll just quickly show you what we're doing with this this mirror. So we got that um, that rust stuff on, and I've put a couple of coats on it, and it's um that's gone that's gone really well. It's just dried off nicely because obviously the sun's on it. 
So yeah, we'll give that a bit of a rub down, give it another coat of that stuff. And then we'll give it a coat of, a paint of um, black primer, top coat of black, and then we'll put the mirror on. Those clouds can bugger off. Yeah. We've got enough rain. Bless Nick for doing this, to be fair. It's quite, it's going to be quite difficult to get in the back of there and do wilding. So, um, to save Nick some time, we're not going to obviously take all this off because obviously we'd have to take the straight pipe down, unclamp it from the truck and take it off, weld it. You know, it's just time out of his day, to be honest. So, we can just get behind there and get it done and save a lot of time. Right, well, that, while Nick's just finishing that off, um, we're going to get this sanded up and we'll get some paint on it. So let's just turn you up a bit. Turn you up to there. I'm going to rub this down and get it um, get it nice and smooth again. Then we'll have to like put a sheet over the door so we don't spray the door and the window black. And then we'll put a bit of paint on. There we go. Right, that should be okay to give that a bit of a spray now. Right, stick you back over my neck. I think he might be done. All done now. Is that all finished, mate? Yeah, yeah. Look at that now. Just got to nip that. Nip it down nice and tight now. Yeah. I'll, I'll wait. Should I wait for a while or is that... Can I just bolt that up now? Bolt that up now. All right, I'll get on that in a minute. Yeah, perfect. So there we go. Nick's done. Perfect. What a job. Oh, that is perfect. <laughs> so it'd be soft it was rolling down the drive oh look at that that's perfectly flush now so that i know now that that's um the right length bolt so i can undo it now and put a bit of loctite on it it's got a little bit of muck in between the frame there <laughs> there we go that's perfect right now loctite put a bit on the old end as well that's blasted enough. Right, now we can do that up. Oh, that ain't going anywhere, surely. Yeah, he's done a brilliant job there, Nick, to be fair. It's absolutely perfect. And um, hopefully now that's that box frame completely secure. I'm still moving about, but not as much, I don't think. Another way, you look for something you can't find it. I bought this stuff as, um, specifically for painting with, so it's all for alcohol, alcohol based stuff. And it gets rid of all your, your grease and grime. And um, all you've got to do is just give it a wipe over, and the paint will stick to it nicely then. So we'll just give that a go over.
Right then guys, finally, all this paint is dry, we can get this mirror on now. Something like that. Right. So I didn't. Oh, did like the sound of that. Ah, there we go. Is that it? Oh, I mean, it seems to have got it. Oh, I don't want to break it. That's the thing. But this side doesn't seem to be on. There we go. That's got it. But yeah, that's uh, that's done the trick. Lovely. That looks much better than the uh, the old one I had on there, doesn't it? There we go. Perfect. Who told me I've got oil all over my head? <laughs> right, let's give this a wipe off big wipe and then I'll get a bit of glass cleaner on it give this a spray with the old uh, glass cleaner I think a lot of you know which brand this is bloody good stuff while I'm here I'll do the window so uh, that one is finished now but we'll, uh, we'll carry on now with the door on the driver's side. Place you down here. Let's get you in that position. Yes, yeah, so we've got to try and get this. Ah. That's the sheet there. So, if you take a look at this now. It's not like a like a purpley colour. Um, you know, I'm guessing that's dry now, so I, I can actually paint that. But yeah, I, I'm hoping this is taking care of the rust and uh, tidied that up now. So I'll uh, we'll mask this area off and give it a bit of a going over with some primer, shall we? Well, we don't have any white at the minute, but we're just going to put primer on this for now, just to get get it painted up, um, and then we'll try and get some paint to match our white uh, bodywork in the future, just to try to take care of this rust now. Let's start up here. Bad for first layer. Right, that's not looking too bad now. Yeah, obviously, uh, trying to get Max the other side um, without getting in there on the rest of the cab using cardboard and sheets. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so instead of uh, one black mirror or one white mirror, they're both black. And we got our new one on that side as well. Yeah, just a job. Right, 
Right, well, uh, I've had a couple of coats now. And um, it doesn't look too bad. Probably need a bit more rubbing down and maybe uh, some body filler on there. But yeah, I'm happy with that. It's got rid of the rust anyway. Yeah, it looks too bad. Better than a rusty old door anyway. <laughs> right, the next job is to get the old number plate lights on. We've got one for each side, like so. But obviously, we need to get them wired in. So we've got to put a hole through and then wire them up to the uh, same place the light bar. Okay, let's get at it. Okay, so we've got the uh, number plates, lights wired in, so the last section is to solder it onto the bits on the truck. I do apologise, you probably just didn't see any of that. I'm trying to work in a little tight space here. All right, we'll give them a quick test, shall we? Make sure they're working. Hey! Hey! There we go. The plate lights are on. Got another beast up there. Let's see if we can do it off the reel. That's it, that's better. There we go. Jobs are good. Man. Right, all I've got to do is um, just cable tie these up under here now, find places for them to go. Actually, they aren't too bad, but rather than just dabbing them dangling down. Right, so as you can see, we've got the uh, we've got the uh, all the electrics cable tied up. And as we can see in here, we've got it cable tied up as well, all nice and neat. Oh, perfect. Um, that's going to about wrap it up for this episode. Um, I do apologise again for the the sound on these videos. Um, I'm hoping that will be sorted very soon. These mics that I've got, they're just rubbish. They don't last too too long for me. So I need something that's going to hold charge. Um, and also, there's some interference I've noticed on the videos as well. I hope you guys haven't noticed that too much, but I do apologise for any sound interference. Um, Daz from the fifth wheel is going to um, sell me some of his old microphones he don't use so hopefully in the next few videos there will be better quality of sound anyway but um, we'll see you in the next episode and thanks very much for watching please subscribe hit the like and uh, please leave a comment down below what you think to the videos but not about the sound I do apologize we'll see you on the next one